So, five exams for just one certification. What are you thinking, F5? Yeah, yeah, I got it. F5, so it should be five exams. In this video, we're going to talk about if those five exams for just one certification is a good idea. We will also look at people's reaction. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video, Dean, from Iceland, Vatican City, El Salvador. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city. Like from Lagos, Yangon, Philadelphia, etc. Some people would believe this is a record. No, this is not the first time I see five exams for just one certification. Let's take a walk down memory lane. My first professional level certification is CCSP or Cisco Certified Security Professional. This is before it became CCNP security. It wasn't two exams, a core exam and a concentration exam. No, it was five exams. So we have SND, securing Cisco network devices, SNRS, securing Cisco network routing and switching, SNPA, or securing networks with PICS and ASA, IPS, implementing Cisco intrusion prevention system, TANAC, or CNAC, implementing Cisco clean access. Most of these exam cost 200 US dollars except for SND, which is 150 USD. So earning CCSP or Cisco Certified Security Professional is a total of 950 US dollars. And 950 USD back in 2000s was really expensive. This doesn't include the eligibility to take CCIE Security Lab. You need to take and pass CCIE written exam. At least the current CCMP security is only 700 US dollars with eligibility to take CCIE Security Lab. Anyway, the current F5 certifications, F5CA in Big IP and F5CA in NGINX requires five exams. And uh, we received multiple reactions. Most of these are not positive. Let's check them out. So one guy here says, this is a new record, five exams for one certification. Okay, one comment. The creator of this exam is a businessman. <laughs> Stupid exam changes for get one certification. I must pass five exam. And the response is, it's hilarious. Nobody will do F5. It was already unpopular. Now worse. Okay. Non-biased opinion. To be fair with F5, it's not really bad. You see, F5-101 and F5-201 exams both cost 180 US dollars. So to get F5-CA big IP, it costs 360 US dollars. For the new program, we have five exams, F5-CA B1, F5-CA B2, up to F5-CA B5. $50 for each exams. So the total is 250 USD. The new exam program is less expensive. Now for the FI 101 and 201, they consist of eight questions in 90 minutes for each exam, okay? So total is 160 questions in 180 minutes. For the FI CA B1 to FI CA B, five okay so five exams uh, they say 30 minutes but no specific numbers of questions let's just say 30 questions each so 30 questions for five exams total of 150 questions 30 minutes for five exams 150 minutes so it's really less time and less items so here's the question it's cheaper and less questions so why not? <laughs> However, people are not wired that way. The first impression for most people will always be five exams for one certification. That's very bad. Not a good idea. Some of you may tell 
You haven't seen the results yet, Dean. Well, that's true for F5CA big IP. But I can show you where it's sold. Not for F5CA big IP. Let's look at Engine X. Yeah, F5CA Engine X. You search YouTube, nobody really cares about the certification. Only this dude. Pathetic. I was expecting the likes of Tech World with Nana, Moom Shadow of Cold Cloud, DevOps Guy would talk about the certification. It's already been more than a year. But no, this certification didn't attract any interest. Wonder what went wrong. This is the first time F5 has introduced five exams for earning just one certification. And here is the question. If F5 had done it with just one exam, would the result have been better? All right, so F5 as a company is known primarily for its network solution, and that's F5 Big IP. I don't think F5 is doing enough to attract the DevOps community. Engine X as an application load balancer is quite different compared to F5 Big IP, you know? And I'm not sure when or if these two platforms will ever converge effectively. Look, I'm not called a career and certification captain for nothing. I have over 70 certifications, delivered over 50 course titles in 30 different countries, author of several IT courses. If I have the power or the influence, here's what I'm going to do. And for F5 Networks, ha, huh, you can thank me later. First, I will keep the F5 101. Keep the 80 questions, focus on networking, application, and basic security. So that's one half. 40 questions, networking, application, basic security. The other half will focus on three main products. F5 Big IP, or Next, which is the hardware. Engine X, which is the software DevOps platform, and F5 Distributed Cloud, or F5 XC, which is a cloud WAF and API protection. All those who passed F5 101 will be able to understand and, I, and appreciate all F5 product lines. Big IP, Network Appliance, Engine X, which is the DevOps platform, and F5 XC, the cloud WAF and API protection. How good is that? And from this one exam, you can promote and market all F5 solutions. This F5 101, consider this as fundamentals or entry-level exam, like CCST or Cisco Certified Support Technician, or Certified in Cybersecurity by ISC Squared, or AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. And since this is an entry-level, it should be lower than 180 US dollars. Make it 100 USD or even less. Now, since they already passed the exam, you should give them or you should give those passers a certificate or a badge like F5 certified fundamentals in networking and applications because they paid and they passed the exam. They deserve something, right? Not just an eligibility. And after passing F5 101 with certificate, they could now choose their administrator level specialization. These are 20X exams. Price, let's keep it as ease. 100 US dollars, excuse me, 180 US dollars. So F5 201, we will keep it F5CA big IP because people, most of the time, they don't want change. An upgrade or updates are enough. Just make things better. F5202. Yeah, introduce a new F5202. Focus on Engine X. One exam for F5CA Engine X. You don't need five. Come on. Then introduce F5203 exam that would focus on F5 Distributed Cloud or F5XC. One exam for F5CA XC. This would be a good certification. And before I talk about more, um, for those who are not familiar with FIXE, it's a direct competitor of Cloudflare, but better. 
So F5XE would be a good certification because it will be the first cloud WAF cert in the IT industry. And uh, one more thing before we go. F5 certifications are only valid for a couple of years. That's not great, you know? F5 should uh, change it. They should last. This certification should last at least three years, like most vendor certifications. Or at least give us an option, like earning credits that we can use to recertify our F5 certs.